starting this particular uh, you know lecture where it is a part of the research publication lecture series and you can say part of scopus profiling or let's say the scopus publication where you know phd scholar or the faculty member of different institute they want to know about their scopus profile or they want to know about their institute scopus profile so today we'll be discussing about the institute scopus profile how to explore and how to view or analyze uh, the different uh, you know parameters that are there in the in their particular scopus profile so let's start so as you can see i have already logged in and uh, now we'll be going to this affiliation so here uh, let's uh, i'll be typing sikkim manipal university as uh, Sikkim Manipal University is comprises of uh, Sikkim Manipal Institute of Technology and the Medical Sciences. So there are two more uh, constituent uh, institute under this university. So uh, we'll be having a, a better idea to understand how uh, all the document will fall under one particular university domain, like a umbrella. You can think of under that umbrella, they, they will be having number of unit, but the document can also be under the same umbrella under the university and this is the institution uh, document also will be counted under, under the university so uh, let's say uh, the nirf ranking or uh, other you know ranking japan neck accreditation in that case also if they want to uh, get data directly from the scopus so uh, they will be going for accreditation let's say the university is going for the accreditation so they will be searching sikkim manipal university so automatically they will be getting all the document of SIC, the engineering institute as well as the medical institute from the university profile so here also you can see like uh, the you know address is given the affiliation id is given this is important and there are other nomenclature or the name in short name or detail name that being used so it, these are the key words you can say through which if, uh, the faculty member or the author they have published so by taking that into account it accumulated all and now under this particular affiliation id all the document has been registered so uh, again here also you can see about scopus affiliation identifier so what is that scopus affiliation identifier uh, so it is about to make you know kind of uh, uh, differentiation among the different uh, university or the institute so they will be assigning one particular id to that particular institute or let's say one id to the university so it is not like ki ek university mein ek id hai to uska jo constituent institute ka bhi semi id rahega matlab university and college ka different id rahega but jo university ke under mein jo id hai uske under pe ye club ho jayega so this is what so this is so as to you know have because somebody wants to search only for that particular institute or that particular university so they can do the search accordingly so you can think of a set or the subset you know one will be the superset so this is the scopus affiliation identifier and um, for every institute there has to be a unique id through which we can able to get the information so most of the cases we have to ID but uh, how we have done it just like we have searched for form kya tha, keywords like we have searched for form kya tha, to all these phases come up so in this lecture we will try to understand about um, this particular page now I will be preparing another video to explore the document um, that are registered like the document of, under the whole institution and here what you can see agar aapko data export karna hai or you want to get how yahan pe jo bhi hai to best way is uh, aap yahan pe print option hai or email option hai so we'll go to that one but before that try to understand ki in under the, uh, this particular university uh, the author or the faculty member they have published in this many domain and you can see the number also the count also so engineering 446 number of publication the publication when i'm saying the publication can be of 
general type it can be of conference paper it can be of you know book chapter book all that combining all that so computer science two four two six seven like that the other you know medical also you can able to see here somewhere because it is comprising of uh, uh, healthcare and the uh, engineering aspect so the biotechnology uh, molecular biology 4 7 so physical therapy also is there um, you know there are other domain multidisciplinary also is there so and see this side the, this chart also is showing all that uh, division what we have seen over here percentage wise division so uh, somewhere in uh, preparing some institutional profile people they used to keep <coughs> this data this kind of chart so this could be hum export kar sakte hain and hum <coughs> kaise export karenge if you want to uh yahan pe either you can take the screenshot also the best way is to go for print page जब हम प्रिंट पेज पे जा रहे हैं सो यू कैन सेव इट आई हैव ऑप्शन टू सेव एज पीडीएफ सो दैट आल्सो यू कैन डू सो द होल वेब पेज यू कैन एबल टू सेव इट इन द पीडीएफ फॉर्म यू कैन सी सो ऑल द डिटेल्स आर नाउ हियर सो दैट यू कैन परफॉर्म सेव सो आई एम नॉट डूइंग इट राइट नाउ और एल्स व्हाट यू कैन डू एक्सपोर्ट सब्जेक्ट एरिया डेटा दिस वन हियर you'll be uh, asked either to export as the csv file so there also you can able to plot it or a zip file zip file you can select so when you export basically this diagram or oh, you can able to export this particular diagram the chart so there you can have the option of exporting in the form of pdf as well as in uh, image file so hope it is clear uh, to everyone so this is how you can able to get the institute or the university data the publication on the different domain pe kya publish hua hai uska uh, even you are able to get total number of count kya hai yahan pe institute ka as of now kitna document register hua hai and and document affiliation a kind and the author kitne hai uska data so yahan pe save author list bhi hai wo bhi aap kar sakte ho and uh, somebody wants to set some alert so that that is also possible so uh, in our last video we have discussed about the individual profile uh, you know uh, how to explore and what kind of uh, data you can able to export all that kind of thing that i have kept in the high bottom so you please visit that video as well so uh, i'll be coming with another video in uh, after this so where i'll be will be going to this document type and we'll try to understand what sort of document it will cover under a particular institute or a university so hope you like this particular video please do uh, share and subscribe to this particular channel uh, thank you for watching this video thank you thank you everyone